Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make this clownfish design, and it was designed by me, but I know you're already thinking, wait, you just posted a clownfish recently, and yes I did, but that's because when I was making a clownfish, I have kind of like two versions of this design. So this is one version where he has the white and black stripes, and then I posted a smaller version about a week ago that has just the white stripes, and I mean, they're both cute, it's just kind of preference. I mean, this one takes a little bit more bands because it is slightly bigger. But yeah, I didn't know which one to make a tutorial for, like which version I liked better. So I'm just making a tutorial for both, so you have both the options. Um, but yeah, so I don't have the band count right now. I only have so long to film and it was going to take me a bit to do the band count, so I haven't done it yet. But if you check the description, the band count will be there and you can see how many bands you need. Uh, it shouldn't be too many. Uh, I, I think it's probably around like 250, maybe. Um, and yeah. Um... This is a fairly simple design because we just make the fish bit and then we just attach all the fins and then the side fins and the eyes. So it's not too bad, I think. Um, it's hard to kind of go wrong with this design, I feel. Um, so yeah. He does have a lot of fins though because he's got two on top, two in the bottom, and these two tiny ones. In the he has a lot of fins. Um, but yeah. So I think it's okay maybe if you're a beginner. I think if you... Um, have watched a few of my tutorials, you should be fine. Um, and yeah, I don't have too much to say about that design, so I guess we'll get started. So for the colors today, um, for the yellow, uh, I'm gonna be using turquoise jelly. And then for the black, it'll still be black, and for the white, it'll still be white. So that'll stay the same. The only difference is I'm changing, I'm making a blue fish today. Also, if you want to make the smaller clownfish design, <laughs> I already have the tutorial posted on my channel. I'll also put in the little eye card thing up there, so if you could just go to that one if you want to do that one instead. Um, but yeah. Uh, so, once you get your band colors, you're also going to need a hook. Uh, I'm using my double-ended hook today just because I really like this hook. And then you're going to want something to mark your rows with. I'll be using a C-clip, but you can use whatever you have, an S-clip, even probably a paper clip if you need something to mark your rows if you don't have a c-clip but if you have bands you probably have a c-clip um yeah so i guess we'll get started um the pattern and everything will be in the description as well if you don't want to watch the video um i'll have a pattern down there and yeah uh i think that's it i always feel like i'm forgetting something but i don't think i did i'm just picking up some turquoise bands I think clownfish come in a lot of different colors. I honestly don't know, but I I already did orange ones. That's why I'm doing a blue one. I felt a like a blue one would be cool. Okay. So to start, you're gonna cap a band on your hook, and you're gonna wrap it around three times. So this is one, and then two, and then three. So it should look like this. And then you're gonna pull a band through everything on your hook. You're gonna put both ends back on your hook. And then you're going to push the back one over the front one. Yeah. Oh no, <laughs> it slid over too far. When you push the back one over the front one, you're going to want to make sure it doesn't accidentally slide over your cat band, because that does happen sometimes. Um, also, if you already know what we're doing, we're just going to be putting four stitches into this cat band. But if you don't know, I'm going to keep explaining. But we're just putting four stitches into the cat band. I feel like my lighting is weird today. I was trying to fix it. Um, it's weird because like the lighting in my room changes with the seasons. It's really weird, but I feel like I had it perfected during the summer and now it's changing to fall and my lighting's changing and I'm struggling again. But yeah, so we're gonna be putting four um, stitches in this cap band. This is the first one. We're gonna go back into the cap band. We're gonna pull a band through just the cap band. We're gonna put both ends back on our hook. Then we're going to push the back one over the front one. And then we're going to push the loop from last time over as well. And we're going to do that exact same thing we just did two more times. So you're going to go into the cat band. You're going to pull a band through the whole cat band. You're going to put both ends back on your hook. You're going to push the back one over the front one. And then you're going to push the loop from last time over as well. And we're going to do that one more time. So you just pull it through the cat band. Both ends on your hook, back one over the front one, and then the loop from last time. And then we're going to just want to make sure we have four stitches, um, so you can just count. So you'll, you'll start by counting the one on your hook, so one, two, three, four. And make sure you don't accidentally count like this first um, part that's flipped over, because sometimes it'll look like a loop, but it's not. 
But now, instead of going into the cap band, we are going to go into this first loop here. And we're going to do it the same way as we do with the cap band, but we just pulled through just the whole loop. Put both ends back on your hook, and then push the back one over the front one, and then push the loop from last time over as well. And we'll be putting our C-clip on this band. So just to note, if you follow other people's tutorials, because um, I see a lot of people mess up, and I feel like this is where, I put my um, C-clip on the first loop, not the last loop. A lot of people put it on the last loop, but I prefer to put it on the first loop. Okay, so for this next row, we are going to be increasing everything. So every single stitch we do is going to be an increase. And I'll show you in a second. I am messing with my light yet again because I feel like it's quite dark. But yeah, so we're going to be increasing everything. And what that means is we're basically going to go e into each loop and do two stitches in that loop because that's what it increases. And I'll show you. So this first loop already has one stitch in it, but we want to go back in and do another one because we're increasing. You just make a stitch, and that would be an increase. So I'll show you one more time. Well, a couple more times. Um, yeah. But basically, you're just going to want to go into the loop. You'll make one stitch, so... I'm going to go back in. And you'll do another stitch. And that's all it increases. So you just put two stitches per loop. And the stitches are exactly the same as with a cap band, except for we just pull it through just the whole loop instead of the whole cap band. In case anybody's confused. But we're just increasing all the way around. And then once you get to the band that has a C-clip on it, you're going to make a stitch on the band that has a C-clip on it. And then you're going to take the C-clip off the band it's on, and then move the C-clip up onto this band. So now if you count around, we should have eight loops. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Should be starting to look a little interesting. Uh, so now we're going to be increasing every other. So we're going to do a single stitch, and then an increase, and then a single stitch, and then an increase. And we're going to do this all the way around again. Um, but I'll show you what I mean in just a second. I am picking up bands. Okay. Like I said, so this first one's going to be our single stitch, and then the next one will be an increase. And we just alternate between doing that. So we'll do a single stitch. We'll do an increase. And we just keep alternating that. So I just did an increase, so we'll do a single stitch. And we'll do an increase. And in case you're confused as to what a single stitch is, um, basically all a single stitch or a normal stitch, as I sometimes say, is you just do one stitch in the loop. And that's it. And then you do an increase. And then we're back at the C-clip. So once you get to the C-clip, once again, you'll make a stitch on the band that has a C-clip on it, and then you'll just move the stitch up onto the C-clip up onto the stitch. Okay, like that. Yay. Um, so now we're going to be switching to black, so you're going to want to get your black. So where we are right now is we're basically going to be starting this first stripe. So you're going to want to get your black. I didn't put any black or white out, so let me do that really quick. I always start filming tutorials and forget to take all my band's colors I need out. I I don't know why I always do this, but it seems like I always do this. Okay. So since we're switching to black, um, I actually did something wrong, but it's not hard to fix, so I'm not going to trash this whole tutorial. Sometimes people get mad when I do that, but it's like, it's a simple fix, it's a simple fix. But because we're switching to black this row, we're actually going to want to undo the stitch that has the C-clip on it. So we're just going to take the C-clip out for a second and undo that first stitch. And then we're going to do the same stitch, it's just we're going to do it in black. And we're also going to slip stitch. So what a slip stitch is, is you're going to pull the stitch through everything on your hook and then put the back one over the front one. And we'll put the C-clip on this one. So we're going to be slip stitching basically 
every time we flip colors. So at the end of this row, we're going to switch to white. So we'd be slip stitching there too, but yeah. But first, we're going to do one row around normal, and so that's just single stitches all the way around in black. So we're not increasing, we're just doing one stitch in every loop until we get back to the C-clip. You know, I'm looking through my phone right now to see my hands, right? And, like, my phone looks disgusting. I really need to clean it. I don't... I, f I went to work yesterday, so I feel like there's some ice cream on it, and then... I, I don't know what else is on my phone. It, it just looks nasty. It's because... Yeah... It's, it's from work, because I, I touch ice cream and stuff, and then I'll touch my phone. So, not good. But we've almost made it. To the end. I just went quiet. I'm picking up black bands, even though I don't need this many black bands. I make great decisions. Okay. So once you finish going around, doing one row of just single stitches in black, we're, we're going to flip to white for the next row. So on the band with a C-clip on it, we'll be flipping to white. Um... And once again, because we're flipping colors, we're going to slip stitch, so we're going to pull um, the white band through everything on our hook, and then put the back one over the front one. And then we'll be moving the C-hip up onto this band. So after the last row, if you count around, you should have 12. Uh, I don't know if we counted the row before. Sorry if we didn't. Um, if I ever forget to count in a tutorial, though, if you check the description, it says how many you should have at the end of the row. Um... So sorry, that we, I think we forgot to count last row because I was so focused on flipping to black. But you should have 12 loops, so if you count around, you should have 12. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yay, okay, so we're good. Um, and like I said, so now this next row we're going to do is going to be in white, and we're going to be increasing every third. So every third stitch we do is going to be an increase. I don't know if I said decrease on accident. My brain seems to be very backwards today, but it's fine. Um, but like I said, we're going to be increasing every third, so we're going to do two single stitches and then we'll do an increase. Um, so the one with the C-clip will be our first single stitch, and then the next one will be our second single stitch. And then on this third one, we're going to do an increase, so we'll be putting two stitches in this loop. And then once again, we'll do two single stitches, so one, two, and then on the third one we do an increase, and we just keep doing this all the way around. Once again, two single stitches. And then an increase. We are almost at the end. And I need a little bit more white. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, so we just did an increase, so single stitch, single stitch, and then an increase. And then once you're at the C-clip, again, we're going to be flipping back to black. So we're done with the white for now. And we are going to be flipping back to black. So on the band with the C-clip on it, we're going to do a slip stitch to black. So you'll get your black band, you'll pull through everything on your hook. And then put the back one over the front one, and then move your C-clip up onto this band. Like that. And after that last row, we should be at 16 stitches around. So if you count around, you should have 16. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So now we're going to do another row around in black. And we're going to just be doing one row normal again. So it's just going to be all single stitches all the way around until we get to the C-clip. Eep. 
so much picking up of bands. Okay. So we're just going to do single stitches all the way around. You know, sometimes with designs, I don't know if I'm going fast or if it's because the design is small that it seems like I'm going fast. Um, I always try to explain well, but I don't know. I don't know, man. <laughs> but yeah, we're just doing single stitches all the way around. You know, I was hoping to make this tutorial way earlier in the week, but then I had kind of a busy week and then like a rough week, so it was... I didn't get to film, so I'm posting it a week later than what I wanted, but sometimes that happens, so I mean, nothing I can do about it. Um, I don't really know what I'm going to be doing for my next tutorial. I have some ideas. Well, I have a bunch of designs that need tutorials. Um, I really want to make a tutorial for Vision, even though no one really... I didn't really see people asking for a tutorial. I mean, a few people did, but I really like the Vision Zoom Zoom I made, so I think I'm going to make a tutorial for Vision. Um, if you don't know any of the <laughs> designs I'm talking about, I've posted them all on Instagram. Honestly, if you really like my tutorials, you should really follow me on Instagram because they see everything I make early because I'm so bad at keeping up with tutorials. It's, it's bad. Okay, but we are at the C-clip, so it is time to flip back to our teal color. Well, tealy blue for me. For you, it's whatever color your clownfish is, which is probably orange because that's the color they are. Um, but yeah, so we're going to be flipping back to our turquoise color. So once again, on the band that has a C-clip on it, we're going to slip stitch and then move our C-clip up. And after that last row, if you count around, you should still have 16, so we'll count. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And for this row, we are going to only be increasing one stitch. So we're going to do nine single stitches, and then we're going to do an increase, and then the rest is single stitches. And the reason why I do this is because um, it just gives him a little more shape. And I like it when he has a little more shape, so <laughs> that's what we're going to do. So once again, so we're going to start by doing nine single stitches. So we're going to start by counting this one on our hook. So one, and then two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then nine. So once we've done the nine single stitches, I'm just gonna make sure I did nine. So two, three, four. So once you've made sure you have nine, and the way you would count is you would just do it just like how we count at the end of the row. So you start by counting the one on your hook, and then you count all the blue ones. And so once you've made sure you have nine, the next stitch we'll do is just going to be an increase. So we're going to do, we'll be putting two stitches in this loop because it's an increase. And then the rest of our sing stitches are just single stitches. So just go around the rest with single stitches. And then once you get to the band that has a sequel on it, you don't need to switch colors or anything because for this row we're going to still be staying blue, so you just do a normal single stitch. And then move your C-clip up. So just to recap what we did this row, we did 9 single stitches, then we did an increase, and then we just did the rest in single stitches. So after this row you should have 17, so if you count around you should be at 17, so 1, 2, 3. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Yay. And now we're going to be doing one or normal in blue. Or whatever color your fish is, I guess. I really don't know if I'm going fast today. I feel like I'm going fast today. But I, I don't know if it's I'm going fast or there's not much explaining needed for this design. Guess we'll never know <laughs> until I see all the comments and they're like, you're going so fast. Oh my God. And I'll <laughs> then I'll know I went fast. But yeah. But yeah, we're just going to do one row around this of single stitches. So just do one stitch in every loop until we get back to the C-clip. And at the end of this row, you should still be at 17 loops. 
So after this, actually, right now we're about halfway done with making the fish body, so we just have to finish making his body, and then it's just a lot of fin attaching. You know, I think I kind of procrastinated um, filming this tutorial because I thought it would be, like, super hard to make. Some tutorials are just harder to make than others. That's just, it just ha depends on the design. But this is actually a really simple design. When I went back to write down the pattern, I was like, hold up. This design is actually pretty easy and it's not that bad. I feel like it's just, um, it was like quite a hard time designing this guy. That was like, it was kind of bad. Um, when I was designing him. So I feel like, because it took me forever to design him, I thought, oh, it's a hard design. And then I went back to make it and it was just like, no, it's actually really easy. So guess I procrastinated this tutorial for nothing. But yeah. Almost at the end. We're getting awfully close. And then once you get to the band that has a sequel on it, we're going to be flipping back to black. So you're going to want to get your black bands. What the heck I do with my black bands? Oh, they're over there. I've run out. You know, if you don't have black for these guys, I bet if you used like, just like a darker color, like a dark blue, it would still look good. Just a thought. Oops. My camera delayed. Okay. So now for the next row, we are going to start decreasing. So we are going to be decreasing every third loop. So it's just going to be like when we increase before, when we would increase every third loop, except for this time we're decreasing. So it's going to be two single stitches and then a decrease. And if you don't know what a decrease is, I'll show you. Also, we need to flip to black. I thought I already finished the other row, but... Oh, my camera's not focusing. There we go. But yeah. We're gonna flip to black, so we'll slip stitch. And then we'll move the C-clip up. And then after the last row, we should still have 17. So if we count around, you should have 17. I'll count really quickly. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Yay. Um, we should have 17. And now, like I said, we'll be decreasing every third. So we're going to do two single stitches. So the first, this one will be the first single stitch. And then two. And then the next one's going to be a decrease. So what a decrease is, is you're going to grab the front or the inside part of one loop. And then you're going to go to the next loop and you're going to grab the back part of that loop. And then you'll just make a stitch. So you'll just pull a band through those two things that are on your hook. Put the back one over the front one and then put the loop from last time over as well. And we're just going to do that all the way around. So once again, we'll be doing two single stitches. So one. And then two. And then we're going to decrease. So we just did two single stitches. So now this is the third loop. So we'll be doing a decrease. So you grab the inside part of one loop. And then the back part of the next loop. And we'll make a stitch. And that's all the decreases. And we just keep doing this all the way around. So two single stitches, so one, and then two, and then we'll do a decrease, so inside part of one loop, back part of the next loop, we just keep doing this. And then decrease. I don't know why I pick up so much black when I'm at the end. Like, I'm going to need white next. I don't need black. Okay. So, once you get to the C-clip, we'll be flipping back to white again. So, you're going to want to pick up some white. Yeah. I always accidentally drop so many bands in my desk drawer. Mm, I'm picking up bands. Okay. Once you get to the band that has a C-clip on it, like I said, we'll be slip stitching to white. And then moving the C-clip up onto this band. So after that last row, we should be at 13 loops. So if you count around, you should have 13. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I can't have lost count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 loops. And... Yeah, so you should have 13 loops. Um, and now we're going to do two rows. The next two rows are going to be just normal rows of single stitches. 
but the only difference is going to be that we're going to flip colors because this row will be in white and then the next row will be in black. Um, so I'm going to stay on camera for both rows, but they're just two rows of um, single normal rows all the way around. Uh, the only difference is we do one row in white and then one row in black. So we'll start this one. So this is just the single stitches all the way around. And at the end of these, each of these two rows, you should still be at 13. But yeah, we're just doing single stitches. I hope it wasn't confusing how I phrased that. Because it might have been. It's always kind of hard to see what I'm doing whenever I use black bands. Uh, I don't know if it's just how I do my lighting on my desk, but you can never see what I'm doing whenever I have black bands. Almost around all the way. Okay. So once you get to the C clip, once again we'll be flipping back to black, so we're gonna slip stitch to black. And then we'll move the C clip up onto that band. So after that last row of just normal stitches we did in white, you should still have 13, so if you count around you should be at 13, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay. And like I said, we're going to be doing another row normal of just single stitches, it's just, <laughs> we're flipping colors to black, so now this next row oop, will be in black. I'm trying to pick up the black bands that I just accidentally dropped my hook. You know, actually, that was the last of the white we used for this design. The rest of this design is just black and then whatever other color you're using for your fish. But yeah, so we're going to do another row of just single stitches all the way around until we get to the C-clip. I feel like maybe this design feels easy even though there's a lot of color flipping just because of the miraculous designs I've been doing because those designs whenever I have to do the explain like where like the mask stuff goes and all that and I know <laughs> it's just like a lot of very specific color placement that if you get it wrong the mask is gonna look so off so I have to like really explain that now that these tutorials they feel like so easy and so simple but yeah Because I really feel like I'm going fast, but I feel like I don't need to explain much. Okay. So once you get to the band that has a C clip on it, we're going to flip back to teal, or your whatever your fish color is. Um, so we'll slip stitch back to teal. And then we'll move the C clip up onto this band. And if you count around, you should still be at 13 loops. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13. Yay. So the rest of this design is going to be in your fish color, so we don't flip colors anymore. Um, so the rest of it's just in the color of your fish. But for the next row, we're going to be decreasing every... Oh my... There's a lot of scribbling. <laughs> uh, we're going to be decreasing every fourth. So we're going to do three single stitches and then the fourth stitch will be a decrease. So this will be the first one. So it's one, two, three. So that was three single stitches. And then once you've done three single stitches, you're going to do a decrease. So you're going to grab the inside part of one loop, back part of the next loop and make a stitch. And we just keep doing this all the way around, so we'll do three single stitches, so one, two, and then three, yeah. and then we'll be doing a decrease again, and then we'll do three single stitches. Two. 
three. So technically the fourth loop will be the band that has a C-clip on it, but we're not going to do a decrease on that one. We're just going to do a regular single stitch on the band that has a C-clip on it. And then we'll move the C-clip up onto this band. So after that last row, you should have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 stitches. So you should have 11 stitches. And now for the next row, we're going to be decreasing every third. So it's the same thing we did before where we do two single stitches and then a decrease. So we're going to, this will be the first single stitch. And then two. And the next stitch will be a decrease, so you grab the inside part of one loop and the back part of the next loop. And you're going to do two single stitches, so one, two, and we'll do a decrease. Oh my, it's getting tight. We maybe should have stuffed it before, but it's fine. And we'll do one two and then the last decrease is going to be on the one that has a c-clip on it so we'll just do this decrease and then we'll move the c-clip up onto the stitch and if you count around you should be at eight loops i believe so one two three four five six seven eight <laughs> So now we're going to want to stuff this design, which we probably honestly should have done before this row because it's very tight right now. But I always forget, so we're going to stuff him now. So you're going to want to get whatever you're going to use for stuffing. I'm using cotton balls today. This is probably way too many cotton balls. I don't need this many. But we'll just get some. I always tear them up too because I feel like if you put the whole cotton ball in, it's just like really ends up really stiff. And you can take your hook out. Um, as long as you don't pull on it too much, your C-clip should hold it. And we'll just stick it in. Gotta stuff him. Okay, it's not super tight yet. I think the first, the, when I was making the yellow clownfish, I forgot to stuff it until the very end. And oh my god, it was a struggle trying to get the stuffing in. I feel like I just always forget about the stuffing. Because I'm so focused during the tutorials or like whenever I'm writing it down on the pattern. And I'm like, oh shoot, the stuffing. And it's bad. Hmm, I thought this was going to be too much stuffing, but I've used all of it and I think I could even use a little more. Or he might be okay. Nope, he needs a little more stuffing. Hmm. Good thing I have another cotton ball. I was cleaning my room the other day, and I found, like, a billion cotton balls. <laughs> Just because I always get some from, like, because we have them all in my uh, mom's bathroom, and I was, like, I went to go get some. And I always just go to get some when I'm making stuff in the living room, because it's easier than coming to my room. And I end up with a bunch of cotton balls all over the place. Okay, but he's stuffed now. So we're going to just put our hook back in, and the direction you're supposed to put your hook back in is you can kind of see that the loops are all, like, following. And then you stick your hook in that way. But now we're going to be decreasing every other, so every other stitch we do is going to be a decrease. So this one was a decrease, so the next one we're going to do is going to be a single stitch. And then the next one after that will be a decrease. So we just alternate between, a, between doing a single stitch and a decrease until we get back to the C-clip. Maybe a single stitch. And then on the one that has a C-clip on it, we're just going to do a single stitch and then move it up. Well, we can actually take the C-clip out, but we'll still count around. So you can take the C-clip out at this point. But if you count around, you should have six loops. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And now what we're going to do is we're going to be decreasing everything until it's all closed up. So every single stitch we do is going to be decrease. And we just decrease until we can't anymore. 
And then once you have the very last decrease up on your hook, you're just going to pull the band through everything on your hook. Put the both ends back on your hook, push the back one over the front one, and then pull tight. And then you'll just hide your tail into your fish. And you're going to want to pull it in, but you're not going to want to, like, I don't know. Usually when you pull it in, it won't go super far in anyways. And you can kind of just squish the butt. And there you go. Our main fish body is done. So this one, uh, unlike my other design, if you made that one, this one does kind of have a top and a bottom because we did that one increase on top. So it's a little bit pointier on the top, and you can see that this is the top part of my fish. Um, we're going to get started attaching everything. Okay, so because this fish, you can kind of tell where the top is. I think I'm going to put, I guess we'll put the side fins in first. Um, you can do it either way I do it. I'm going to show you how to do it with the black on the edge, but if you like it better where he just has a fin and no black on the edge, you just won't do the last step, you'll just do the first step. It'll make sense in a second, I promise. Um, so I'm just picking up some bands that are in my fish color. Okay. I'm just checking to make sure I know what I'm doing. He has five loops. Okay, this is really weird. I did different numbers. Oh, okay, it's fine. Okay, so just make sure you know what your top of your fish is. You can kind of tell because there's going to be an increase up here somewhere. Well, we know we increased up here, so you can kind of tell that that's the top. It's just pointier. Um, and then you'll just go to the side. You'll figure out where you want your fins. I'll usually put them, like, right here. And what you're going to do is you're going to chain up one. So you'll just pull a band through. Chain it up. And then you're going to pull another band through. The, do everything on your hook. And then put the back one over the front one. Like that. And we're going to keep going into this um, chain. And we're going to do five loops. Um, well, five stitches. So we'll just go through the chain again. So you go back in through the chain. And then you'll pull a band through just the chain. And then put the back one over the front one, and then the loop from last time. And we just do that three more times. And then once you've done it um, all five times, so you should have five loops. So we'll just start by counting the one on our hook, and then we'll count backwards. So one, two, three, four, five. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go into the same spot where you can tell the chain is. And we're going to go really close to where the fin ends. And we're going to pull the band through everything on our hook. And then push the back one over the front one. And we're going to want to tie it tight but not super tight because we're going to want to undo the slit in a second. And now what we're going to do is we're going to want to get our black bands to do the little black edge on the fin. Like I said, you don't have to do this black edge. Um, it's just if you like the black edge. And I like the black edge so I'm going to do it. Um... But what we're going to do is we're basically going to go into, I'm just making sure. We're just going to go into the first loop here. And then we're just going to do black all across the top. And you're just going to do a, you're just going to stitch across the top in black on all the loops and then once you get to the last loop you're not going to put black in that one you're just going to undo the slip knotted band and then you're just going to slide the black band onto that one and then now you'll put the back one over the front one and pull it tight and then you can just tuck in that tail like that. and then he has a fin with a little black outline Yay. Uh, did I? Okay. I was just making sure I knew what the top of my fish was and it's in the right spot. It's sometimes hard to tell when I attach things on camera. So we're going to do that exact same thing again on the other side to make his other fin. So once again, uh, I kind of try to make it even with the other side so I'll look and then I'll come right here. And I'll just double check to make sure it's even. 
I'm trying to make sure I'm in the right spot. I get that. We'll go right here. And once again, we'll chain up one. And then we'll be putting five stitches in this chain. So you'll pull the band through the chain. Back one over the front one. And we'll just go into the chain and do four more stitches. So one. Two. Three. And then four. And then once again, we'll go really close to where we chained up for the fin. And then you'll pull a band through everything on your hook. Put the back one over the front one and pull sort of kind of tight, but not super tight. Just tight enough to hold it. And then once again, we'll do the black edge on the fin. So we'll just go into the first loop. And then we'll just make stitches all the way across in the loops. And then you're going to want to stop before the last loop. So I can tell that that's my last loop right here. And instead of making a stitch with black in that one, we're just going to undo the slip knotted band, slide the back band onto that, and then put the back one over the front one, and this, this time pull tight. And then we'll just tuck the tail in. Yay. And then he has two fins. Okay, I just had to pause because, well, I had to cut off the footage because my camera was about to time out. But now that we've done the fins, we are going to do the tail fin. And it's pretty simple. Um, so you're just going to make sure you know what the front of your fish is. So you can tell what the front of your fish is because they'll have the cap band and all that. We're going to want to go on the back side where we tied everything up. And you're going to want to start at the top of your fish. And you're not going to go dead center because we're gonna, the way we're going to do is we're going to chain up one on this side and one on this side. So you're going to want to go slightly to either side. Um, I'm going to go slightly to this top side because I think it looks better when you start it um, at the top. And we're just going to chain up one. And just like before, we're going to put five stitches in this chain. So, Ooh, I don't know if my camera's focused. Okay, there we go. So we're just going to be putting five stitches in this chain. So once you put five stitches in that chain, we're going to go, um, like I said, slightly to the underside of your fish. We'll chain up one again, and then we're going to put five stitches in this chain as well. And we just continue. Need some more blue. Ah, I'm dropping bands everywhere. It always takes me so long to pick up bands, and I always feel bad for not, like, pausing, but it would just be so tedious to pause every time I need to pick up bands. So you guys get to wait in silence, I don't know. Uh, but yeah. So. Just need to put five stitches in this. One, two, three, four. One more. Five. And then once you've put five stitches in it, just like before, we're going to go really close to where we chained up. And we're going to tie in. And we'll just tie it tight once again, but not super tight. Your tail should be looking like this right now. It kind of looks a little funky until we finish it. Um, but now we're going to do the black across the top. <laughs> and I just want to know, I really think it doesn't look okay until you put the black across the back. On the tail. So, to start putting the black on the tail, we're just going to go into this first chain. And we'll just start making stitches with black, basically. All across, all the loops on the back of the tail. So 
There's always one loop that looks kind of awkward from when we connected the two. Well, we didn't even really connect them, we just kept stitching. It just looks kind of weird. I'm grabbing another black band. And then once again, once we get to the one before the last loop, so you have your last loop right there, we're going to undo this slip knotted band, we're going to just slide the black on, and then we'll re-slip knot it, re-slip knot it, and then we'll just pull tight. Like that. And then if you just pull out your tail a little bit, it should look fine. And then you'll just tuck in that um, tail to the slip knotted band. Like that. Yay. And there's our tail. So now what we're going to want to do is we have all these little fins we got to do. We got to do the two on top, the one on the bottom, and then these two tiny ones. And they're not hard to do at all. And it just takes a second. So if you made my other fish already, it's very similar to how we do this, but it's just one stitch longer. It's exactly the same. It's just basically on all of them. Instead of being like um, three stitches on the top, it's four. So if you've made the other fish, it's almost exactly the same. But we're going to start by going on the top. And we're going to want to come to the front here. And you're going to want to go as close to the center as possible. And this is the part where, if you care, you're going to want to notice which way your stitches are going because I like to try to make all my stitches face the same way. If you don't care about this, then just ignore this, but I like to make all my stitches face the same way. So, like I said, we're going to stitch four into the part right here. And we're going to want to make sure they're all fairly close together, so we're not going to go, like, really far apart. We're going to do all the four stitches really, really close together. And the reason why we do them close together is because it'll make it look um, kind of like it's taller than if you spread them out too much. So once you've stitched four times into the head, we're going to want to go, once again, into the fish. And then we'll make a slip knot. So we'll pull a band through everything on our hook, put the back one over the front one, and then we're going to pull it tight once again, but not super tight. You probably already know where this is going. And then we're going to get our black bands and we're going to stitch across the top. But we're going to want to start stitching in this weird loop that is not the first loop, but it's like the folded over band. We're going to make a stitch in that. So we're going to make a stitch in that. And then we'll make a stitch in our first loop. And then we'll just stitch back until we get to the last loop. And then once you get to the very last stitch, um, instead of doing a stitch with a black band on it, we're just going to undo the slip knot band, add the black band in, and then retie the slip knot, but this time tie it super tight. Yay. Like that. And then there's one fin in the front. So, uh, as you can see, this fin is a lot taller than the other fin, and the reason why is because I finally, um, I just stitched my bands closer together. So if your fin is way too tall and you hate it, um, and you want it to be a little flatter, uh, all you would do is you just space out when you stitch into the head a little bit more. Um, I put it super close together because I wanted my guy to have a tall fin. So, yeah. But we're going to do the same thing, but basically we're going to stitch from the back to forward. So we're going to want to start in the middle of the back. And then we'll do four stitches going forward. Once again, I'm going to stitch them super close together. Just because I like it better when his fins look a little taller. That's just a preference thing. You might hate it. You might be looking at my fish and being like, that looks disgusting. I'm going to space them out. And then once again, once you get to the end, you'll just tie into your fish. So what you stitch them four times? 
we're just tying to our fish. And you'll make a slip knot, but all you're going to do is tie that slip knot not super tight. And we're going to do the exact same thing we did before again. We are so close to being done, which I'm so relieved, kind of, because my voice is starting to hurt. <laughs> it always happens. Once again, we're going to start stitching into that loop that's not a loop, but is part of the first, like, full, like, it's not the first loop, it's just that weird bit. We're going to start by stitching into that. And then we'll stitch into the first loop. And we just go into the each loop. And then once you get to the very last loop, instead of stitching into that loop, we're going to undo our slip knotted band. And then we're going to slide our black band onto that. And then re slip knot it. And then pull it super tight. And then once you're happy with where the fins are, you can tuck in your tails. Uh, I didn't tuck it in right away last time just because I was worried that sometimes they would look odd and I like to fix them. So it's just easier to fix them when you know where your tail is than having to go find it. Sometimes when you tuck it in, it's really hard to find them after. Okay. Yay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do the, the fins on the bottom and then we are pretty much done. So this fin on the bottom is a little smaller so we only stitch into our fish three times instead of the four times. But it's exactly the same thing. Okay. So we're going to want to go to the bottom of our fish in the back area here. And we're going to want to go in the middle pretty much and we're just going to stitch forward three. So one, we'll go right here, two, and then this one will be three. And then we're just going to tie into our fish. So we'll go through part of our fish, pull a band through everything on our hook, push the back one over the front one and pull sort of kind of tight. And then we'll get our black bands. And we'll start once again by going into that weird section that is not the first loop, but we're going to go into it anyways. And we'll just make a stitch. And then we'll go into the first loop, make a stitch. And then the second loop. And then once we get to the very last loop, instead of making a stitch in it, we're going to undo this slip knot band. We're going to slide our black band onto the slip knot band. Re-slip knot it and pull it super tight and then hide the tail. Like that. And now the very last thing we need to do is just put our two tiny fins right up here near the front. Um, so for the tiny fins, I'm just double checking what we do. Okay. We only stitch into our fish two times, so let me show you. So you're going to want to go slightly not in the middle, so this is like directly in the middle. You're going to go slightly, but like ever so slightly to one side. Um, so we'll go right here. And you're just going to stitch forward. Do we want to go right there? Uh, no, I'm going to move a little bit more forward. <laughs> we'll go right here. And we're just going to stitch forward one. And then we'll tie into our fish somewhere. Just pick a spot, tie into your fish. And once again, we'll tie tight, but not super tight. And we just do the same thing with the black. So we'll go into that weird part that is not the first loop, but we'll just pretend it is. Oh shoot, are all my loops facing the same way? I hate when they don't. We'll go into the first loop. Well, that weird part that looks like a loop, but is not a loop, but we're going to go through it anyways. Make a stitch with black. Go into the first loop. Make a stitch. And then, once you get to the last loop, instead of making a stitch on it, once again, we'll undo that slip knot band. Slide our back band onto that, and then retie it, and then tie it super tight. And I don't recommend tucking in the tail just yet, just in case you want to move it. Um, sometimes I don't like where they are. 
But we're gonna do the exact same thing we just did again. I feel like I keep repeating myself, but all these fins are very repetitive. So once again, and you're gonna wanna go pretty much right up next to this fin, otherwise it looks awkward. And we'll just stitch forward two, so one, two. And then we'll stitch into our fish to tie it off. And then we'll get our black. We'll go into that weird part that is not our first loop. And we'll make a stitch. And then we'll go into that loop, make a stitch. And then at our very last loop, instead of making a stitch, that's when we undo this slip knot band. Slide our back band onto that remake the slip knot and then pull it super tight and then you're just going to want to make sure you like where these two tiny fins are um once you're sure you like where they are you're just going to tuck in the tails like that and that is it. Now we just need to put our eyes in and this is the easiest part for me because it's really obvious where the eyes go. So you'll just get your eyes. Um, I have beads for eyes but you can use safety eyes or if not you can just wrap a black band around your hook four times and then just tie it in and it'll work as an eye. So I'm gonna go right here slip knot it in and then hide our tail then we'll go right here slip knot it in and then hide our tail Yay. And that is it. Our fish is done. Um, yeah. I actually got the eyes correct. Like, they look good from the front. Because when I did this guy in the tutorial, his eyes are so crooked. So, yeah. I'm really happy with how this fish turned out. Um, sometimes they come out a little wonky from the tutorials. But he actually looks really good. So, that's a shock. Um, so, if you make any of these um, clown fishes, definitely share them with me on Instagram. I love seeing when you guys make my stuff. Um, even if I don't like it all right away, I always see it. Um, so subscribe if you want to see more tutorials from me. I have a lot of tutorials coming out. I'm trying to come out with tutorials almost weekly, so yeah, subscribe if you want more tutorials. Um, and maybe make a baby clownfish if you already made these, because I have a tutorial for another clownfish. Or the smaller clownfish. Um, but yeah, so, uh, I'm trying to think if I had anything else to say, but... Yeah, not really. I'll leave my Instagram and all that down in the description so you can see what other designs I have coming up and stuff. Um, and yeah, I really think that's it. So I guess we'll go. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I don't know why. I've had a, such a struggle doing intros and outros lately. But yeah, I think that's in this video. So bye.